tape for this featherweight championship fight between Florian and Aldo. Kenny is three inches taller, has a four inch reach advantage with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. And now, this fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 16 wins, five losses, 25 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Brookline, Massachusetts, presenting the challenger, Kenny Kentwell Florian! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 19 wins, one loss, standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former WEC featherweight champion and the reigning, defending UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. All right, we've been to the rules in the locker room. I want you guys to obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. All right, good luck to both of you guys. Here we go. I mean, can this continue to get better and better throughout the night? <laughs> we got another title fight after this, yep. baby. Come on. Jose Aldo. Kenny Florian. You ready, sir? Are you ready, Kenny? Are you ready? Let's go fight, guys. Undeniably, this is the biggest fight of his life. Florian in the black trunks, blue trunks for Aldo. Inside leg kicks will be very prevalent in this fight. Kenny opens up with the kicks. Kenny has got very heavy kicks and very bony the way he digs that thigh into his opponent and those vicious elbows. And like Aldo, we said, started out as a soccer player. Yep. Division one at Boston College was Florian. Semi-professional in Brazil was Aldo. Kenny also has a very sharp right jab. Aldo pushes forward. What's going to be very, very important and imperative to Florian's success is his footwork, too. Which he's worked on a ton with Peter Welch in Southie. And his stamina and composure should this fight go into the later rounds. First against Shirk, then against Penn. Now tonight against Aldo. He got stopped. There's the power oh, he got of Jose Aldo. He got tagged, Mike. Stopped and hammered on. Kenny can take it, but that punch rocked him. He's pointing to him. What is he saying? He pointed to the referee and said something. Oh, he's saying he poked him in the eye, he's saying. And Jose acknowledged it. Good lead right hook by Florian. A Kenny looks for the takedown. Wow, what a scrambler. Up against the cage. Right in front of his corner. Kenny would very much like to get some ground and pound off on Jose Aldo. As we said, he saw the Mark Hominick fight, and he saw Aldo on his back and saw a lot of openings where he could have capitalized. He's tried to take Jose Aldo down not once but twice here early, Joe. Kenny Florian has been defeated in every fight in which he was unable to land a takedown. Sanchez, Shirk, Penn, and Maynard. Every other fight he has been victorious in during his UFC career. Aldo is 19-1 overall. 12-fight win streak hasn't lost since 2005. Midway point of the first of a potential five five-minute rounds. And Kenny, even if he can't take him down here, he does take him down. He got it. Fight back up is Aldo. And drops right back down to it. This is wearing Aldo out. Even if Kenny can't 
take him down. He's making him work very, very hard. And for a guy who has a hard time making this weight and had questionable stamina in the Hominick fight, this is an excellent strategy. Okay, sticking behind, Kay's got his back. Florian has outstanding submission skills. Aldo is attacking though. He was looking for a, a, a Kimura on Kenny's left arm. He let that go to defend the takedown. Remember, Aldo was able to stuff Mike Brown on numerous occasions when he looked to take him down and put him on his back. 93% takedown offense. The opponents of Jose Aldo, 2 of 28, coming into tonight on their takedowns. Combination by Florian. Pedaneris thinks that Aldo is the stronger of the two fighters. Ducks Beautiful under. timing by Kenny Florian. To the body. He's got him thinking, Joe. He's imposing his will right yep. now. You know, and Kenny Florian is one of the bigger guys in this division. That's something really to consider. At five foot ten, he carries 145 pounds very well. He's very long and lanky. He's got an excellent reach, and his movement tonight is sensational. And the real key for Florian is he wants to fight his fight because he didn't feel like he did that against BJ. He's constantly on Jose Aldo. Patience and pressure. Nice knee to the body by Kenny. Florian has said he respects the skills of Aldo immensely. Elbow. And Kenny has some nasty elbows. Some of the best in the business. Very good at cutting fighters. Slices the elbow across the skin. He left his buddy Alex Karalexis with a big scar. After a big flurry by Aldo early, good job done by Ken Flo. We got ourselves a title fight. That's a big round for Kenny Florian. Great stuff. For us, Sahabi, Keith Florian. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. You did awesome. All right. That was a close round. Close round. How do you feel? Good? Listen, you knew he was going to be explosive round number one, right? Make it a wrestling match. You're striking with him without threatening the Let's take a look at a right hand landed by Jose Aldo. This is the one that cut Kenny. Snuck through the guard. Kenny moves away from it like a real veteran. Took away some of the power of it. When he throws your combo, you got to kick his leg. How you doing? Andre Pedaneris just awarded his 100th Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt to UFC fighter Henan Barral. Black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at Gracie Baja is Florian under Roberto Maia. Aldo, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, training in beautiful Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Again, Kenny misses the takedown, but lands a nice right hand. Kenny going to try to circle away from that powerful right kick of Jose Aldo. Throws his own. Superman punch. Kenny is making Aldo think. He is one of the master strategists in this game. 17th UFC fight, Joe. I mean, the UFC record is 25. You got Koscheck and Florian at 17, 18 from season one of the Ultimate Fighter. Well, Kenny's very, very intelligent, Mike, and very disciplined as well. And he's obviously formulated an excellent game plan. Ducks under. And I'll tell you what, Kenny Florian has a very underrated chin, too. You know, he's only been stopped once by Diego Sanchez in the UFC, and that was a ground and pound stoppage when Diego was just, quite frankly, much bigger than him. No qu And he was stopped by wrestlers in Gray Maynard, in Sean Shirk. The only time he really kind of got outstruck was BJ Penn with that stiff jab he used in Philly. I mean, Shirk, he bloodied up from the bottom. Yeah, his elbows from the bottom were outstanding in that fight. He's got Jose Aldo thinking, Mike. Florian with the one-two. Aldo attacks. Kick. 
I'll tell you what's happened with the takedown attempts by Kenny Florian and the clinching is that it's taken away the kicks of Jose Aldo. Which is taking away maybe his best weapon. Oh, yeah, a huge part of his, his arsenal. He just does not want to throw those kicks. He hasn't thrown a single one yet, and we're deep into the second round. Meanwhile, Kenny is free to throw everything. And that creates a much better distance for Kenny, who's also the taller fighter. Florian with that four-inch reach advantage in this featherweight title fight. Florian's doing a lot of fainting, too, throwing a lot of fakes, getting Aldo to think. There's the first kick by Aldo. And oh. again. And there are many people, Joe, who say the inside leg kick is more vicious than the outside leg kick because of all the nerves and, 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 you know, you don't have that big IT band on it. They both hurt, but the inside can be lethal. And look at already the red mark on the inside of the leg of both men. Well, Aldo slaps with it. It's yeah. such a powerful kick. I mean, you don't want to have your buddy test out the theory at home, but they can both be very, very... What are you encouraging? No, not at all. That's why I said you don't. <laughs> but they can Just be very, very there. advantageous. Good jab by Kenny. Under two now. I'd like to see more of those kicks from Aldo. He, he, he started it off. Start, start to his, start to his left. Yes, yes. Yeah, and there you go. You heard his brother Keith say, move to his left, move away from the power of the right kick. And, and as he moves to his left, Joe, he sets up his inside leg kick. And he landed it twice Or there. pardon me, when he moves to his right, away from the power. Oh, he went, went high with that one. When Florian moves away, right here, circling to his left, moving to Kenny's right. Head kick. And you hear him saying, get, get back, Kenny, get back. Tossed aside. Oh, almost connected on the way up. Keep your hands up. Under a minute now in round two. Title fight. Five five minute rounds. There you go. He circles to the right again. He gets caught though. And there's another inside leg kick. That one is very powerful. You see the redness all over the inside of the left thigh, or the right thigh rather, Kenny Florian. Outside. Oh, he caught him before Aldo yep. was about to pull the trigger. Aldo was throwing that kick and he caught the outside of his back leg. Under 30. Well, Kenny anticipated that the kick was coming. He saw the way Aldo was looking at him. And he got off first. Now he's going to look to do like his teammate George St. Pierre does. Maybe score a takedown late in the round and steal it. Aldo connects. Round two complete. Breathe. Take it easy. Listen. His leg is really red. He's losing his movement. He's going in when you throw the front. The only punch that's landing is his... When you do anything, he's always... And there's a head kick attempt by Jose, just blocked by Kenny. And there's a nice right hand by Aldo. He's got nothing. You've, you've felt it before. You got it? Baby, he's getting tired, Kenny. He's getting tired. The champion. And you hear Kenny's corner saying he's getting right, tired, Kenny. Guys. They believe that Aldo has a stamina problem and that he can't continue this pace into the championship rounds. And one thing that Kenny Florian has demonstrated throughout his career is he does not have a stamina problem. Yeah, very, very disciplined fighter. Disciplined with his strength and conditioning, which started with Kearns, continues with Jonathan Chamberg. Very disciplined with his diet. And Kenny's footwork and movement tonight have been excellent. He's worked that a ton, got caught with the jab of Aldo. 
He has trained and acted and fought for the better part of his UFC career like a champion. The one thing he hasn't been able to become is a UFC champion. Nice. Florian, a decade older than Aldo. Look for the Superman. Again, he just adjusts that footwork, trying to keep Aldo off balance. Aldo stepped with an angle and tried to connect with the right. Dan Mergliata is having a hard time getting out of the way of these guys. They're moving so quickly. Nice inside oh, leg. That was huge. Him. And he followed it up. That and Andre Pettinera said, yes. you're taking away his mobility with those leg kicks. Keep punishing he, the right leg. Right. He's absolutely right. That one hurt Kenny for sure. He's limping a bit on it. Yep. He got rocked and then he got followed up on with a combination by Aldo with a big right hand. See if he goes for it again. Kenny's got to continue to circle away from that inside leg kick of Jose Aldo. And Kenny has not been able to check any of those. And some guys don't in MMA, you know, some guys don't check the inside leg kick. They, they allow it to just throw their leg back. There's a bunch of different schools of thought on that. He's, he's moving away from it now. And he ducks under. He ducks under, but Aldo's on top and mounts him. Not good for Kenny Florian. Kenny spins, but Aldo's going to take his back if he does that. Kenny tries to get to half guard. He's going to keep pushing on those hips. Hip escape, hip escape. Nicely done. Nicely Aldo, done by Kenny. Which has two career wins by submission, but he is a black belt, as we mentioned, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. As Kenny tried to get that right leg over the top, Aldo very expertly switched the position and moved into side control. Kenny trapped the leg again. He's spinning. He's going for the deep half. Good hips by Kenny Florian in avoiding being mounted. Trying to get the double underhooks. He's moved it into side control, excuse me, half guard, but Aldo pushes down on the leg. And Kenny did a nice job there of getting his right knee in position to keep that half guard and protect himself. Now remember, Kenny can be very active from his back, especially with elbows. And he's going to make Aldo work and make Aldo tired. Aldo's not moving that much anymore, Mike. He's just kind of holding position. And this gives at least, even though he's on top, Joe, a little break to the inside of that lead leg of Florian. And you hear Keith screaming, underhook the single on the left side, because that's the side where Kenny has the half guard. They want him to get an underhook on that side and stand up. Kenny Florian 12 and 3 since the Ultimate Fighter Season 1 finals against Diego Sanchez. Aldo has lost only one time in his professional career. Right there, good job by Kenny in utilizing his knee to get into a good position. Good up kicks. Powerful up kicks by Kenny. He's kind of slamming down on him like an axe kick. Florian showing his fine jiu-jitsu skills in defending on his back. Controlling the wrists. Got a hold of that single, couldn't hang on to it. Couldn't back hang on to it and he's back up. Look for that Aldo inside leg kick. Aldo had the mount and really wasn't able to do much with it, Joe. Aldo's looking to kick, Mike. You can see his back heel, the right leg coming up. Florian wants to take down. Aldo number one all-time combined in UFC WEC history with his takedown defense numbers. And he lands nearly 90% of his kicks. Ten seconds left until we hit the championship rounds. So far, the most successful round for Jose Aldo. You see, he steps in there with a jab. And this is the inside leg kick that's just devastating. And you see how he throws that? He pulls the foot up and flexes to hit with the bone. Keep the fight standing. Don't go to the ground. You don't need it. Breathe. Listen. 
a luta vai acabar. If you keep kicking his leg, the fight's gonna be over. Você tá esquivando, você tá esquivando bem. Você tá metendo toda a hora de You're moving pretty well. It's gonna be you, but you gotta pressure him in there. You gotta stay out when you're out. He's really quick. He's jumping all over. You can't just dance away. You gotta run away. You gotta get yourself out of there. You got to hear me? Taking the deep waters. I need the deep waters now. Deep waters and drown. Let's go. Deep waters indeed. Florian went the distance. 25 minutes with Sean Shirt. He went into the championship rounds with BJ Penn. We are set to start the championship round. Round number four here tonight. Aldo and Florian for the title. You know, the one thing we don't often see, if ever, from Kenny Florian is for him to switch his stance to orthodox, which he could do to try to protect that leg, but Kenny's not a guy who switches his stance a lot, Joe. Well, Check. he's checking it now. And he landed a couple of good shots of his own. And you hear Keith Florian in the corner really wants to make sure that when Aldo's attacking, that Kenny's nowhere near him. He wants to, he said, just run away. Good stiff right. That straight right, always an effective punch against the southpaw. Straight left the other way. Kenny's doing a real good job of mixing up his punches and his kicks to keep Aldo guessing. Again. There's that inside. And that one hurt. That, that whole inside of Kenny's thigh is damaged. The difference is when Kenny lands his kicks, Aldo's taking them with no problem. They're scoring, but Aldo's taking them. When Aldo lands his kicks, every single one of them has a damaging effect on Kenny's ability to move. Close fight here in the fourth round, although Aldo with a real nice third round performance. Got the mount on a couple occasions. Looking for the takedown again. Man, what great Stuffed. takedown defense by the champion. And a nice big knee. knee. You know, it's the little things that you see the highlight reel knockouts of Jose Aldo, those great kicks, but it's the little things that make him such a dominant fighter, starting with this takedown defense. This takedown defense is amazing. It's, a lot of it is because he's so athletic and explosive and his balance is so good. Seven years ago, he came to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil with absolutely nothing. Grew up in the large city of Manaus, Brazil. Now he's the best in the world at 145. Nice knee by the champion. Florian really wants the takedown. Working for the single. And he lost the single. How much can Kenny explode into Kenny. these takedowns with that leg so damaged? Well, he's been fine with it, but he's putting a lot of pressure on Aldo. That's what's important. And he's making it so Aldo is hesitant to pull the trigger. And Aldo just took a big deep breath there, Mike. And that's what Kenny needs to do, a yeah. lot more of that. And his corner called for the body kick, he threw it. And Kenny has good Muay Thai. Really polished his Muay Thai with Mark Delagrati. And Kenny has done everything his way. I think that's the most important thing. He's surrounded himself with the training team, and tonight he just wants to leave it in this championship fight, and he's pressuring him right here. He's got to do more damage in these positions, though. There he goes. Needs more of that, more knees. Dan Mergliata just telling Jose Aldo, don't hold the fence. His corner's just screaming. Zahabi, Chamberg. Well, that's a smart thing to do, and it also gets in Jose Aldo's head. It makes him think about it. Again, he drops for a single. High crotch. And even though Kenny's not getting these, he's forcing Jose Aldo to wrestle and, and strain himself. And this, although it's not the most exciting aspect of MMA, is probably the most grueling. And it also is octagon control, body shot. And Kenny's the most aggressive here. He's the one who's pushing the action. No question. And remember in Toronto, 
that they went the distance. Jose Aldo and Mark Hominick, and Hominick almost staged a huge comeback in the fifth and final round. Indeed. With that huge hematoma on his forehead, days before the birth of his child. And as Kenny is making Jose Aldo work harder and harder, leading into this fifth round, it opens up the potential for him being successful. Aldo went the distance against Uriah Faber in the WEC title fight, but really had his way with the leg kicks. Uriah was just as gutsy as you've seen taking the leg kicks. Went the distance with Hominick. And now we may be headed for the fifth, and we are. Não quero clinch. I don't Não want you to clinch. Got it? A luta tá três, no mínimo três a um no round. Entendeu You're winning three rounds Não at least. Não quero clinch. Don't Não clinch. Quero clinch. Vamos comer? So, vamos comer na esquerda, chutar embaixo. Just keep moving and keep tá? kicking him low. You're doing well. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep throwing your crosses. Throw your... Olha só. Remember that one? Tough to get inside. He's gonna run away. What's going on? He keeps going off to the to the right, man. When you keep spinning off to the right. Switch your head to the outside. High kicks. You gotta get low. Low kicks down. Kenny Florian, Jose Aldo, fifth and final round. Chad Mendez, Hatsu Hayaki, Mark Hominick, Eric Koch, Dustin Poirier. Featherweights are loaded. Lightweight title fight still ahead. Kenny's got to continue to circle towards his right, move away from the power kicks and punches of Aldo, and get something offensive in this round. These have been some very close rounds, except for the third, where Aldo dominated with top position. But other than that, they've been very close. And Kenny has been the most aggressive in this fight. Who knows how the judges are seeing this, Mike? Nice knee to the body by Kenny. He's got to do a lot more of that. Put everything aside and let the fight take care of itself. Experience maturity. Florian trying to secure his fighting dream of becoming a UFC champion. Under four. Slipped. Went for a knee and slipped. Good job of kicking the knee by Florian there from the bottom. That's a dangerous technique. Aldo's got to look out for that. He could get his leg hyperextended yep. easily here. And look, he changed just because of that jump. Yeah, he went sideways. Yeah, Kenny's going to on left knee. The, the heels. Kenny doesn't like it. Or excuse me, Aldo doesn't like it. Kenny's very good from this spot. Very good protecting and very good offensively. He's looking for that axe kick, and that's why it landed so hard on the ground there. He's attacking a leg. He's lacing up a leg. Oh, he lost it totally, though. Elbow. Now, Kenny can't run the risk of being trapped under here in the bottom like he was in the third round. It's a crucial time in this fight. Three minutes left, George. He's got to explode. He's got to explode. He's got to get out of here because Aldo yeah. just mounted him. He got it again. And he not, not just mounted him. He mounted him with his feet crossed underneath, which is like a guard mount. It's like having a guy in your guard except you're mounting him. It's very difficult to shake him off. Now it's open, and he's sliding up higher, and he's going to take his back. Okay, he's going to scoot out the back out the door. Back. Yep. He's going to scoot out. But Aldo brilliantly waited and then pinned his knee down. And they're both moving very well here on the ground, but Aldo is maintaining the top position. Kenny's got to get out of this spot before he incurs any damage, because scoring-wise, he's definitely losing this. Trying to get back again. to that mount. Florian wants to desperately get back to the feet here. And he he's does. Up. Now Under Kenny's two minutes.
minutes remaining. Got to get something going here. Kenny has got to leave it all here. Yeah. One he cannot be conservative. More than likely, he's losing this round now. You know, even though Aldo didn't do too much offensively when he got him down, he did hold him down and he did mount him. Yeah, he gained the mount, which is huge. Under 90, and here we go. But Kenny can take that back and he can be aggressive. Man, what great takedown defense by Aldo. Aldo has kept his conditioning at a good level too, Joe. Both men still really trying to push 24 minutes into this fight. Final minute. As Aldo looks to defend, and Florian looks to capture. Just about to separate them. The featherweight title. 40 seconds. Kenny's got to be aggressive here. Now that he's got Aldo up against the cage, he's got to knee him, he's got to punch him, he's got to do something. How huge would a takedown be here? Florian throws the knee. Again, he's stuck. 20 seconds. Florian tried to deliver the elbow. The teeth. Seconds. Both men battle to the finish. We have gone the distance. Five five-minute rounds. Has Florian done enough, or has Aldo defended? The real question is the three rounds that there wasn't a clear winner because there's two rounds where I believe Aldo probably very clearly won. The third and the fifth. The other ones, you, you know, you'd have to go over with a fine tooth comb. What do you score more? The, the dominant power of the leg kicks that Aldo landed or the number of kicks that Kenny landed? Yeah, that's the great question yeah. when it comes to this point. It's no question that the more devastating blows were landed by Aldo, even though there weren't nearly as many as we've seen in some of his other fights. And Aldo did control on the ground. There you see Aldo holding him down and elbowing him there. And here's Aldo's celebration flip. That could hurt your ankles. <laughs> It's now in the hands of the judges. Switch, guys. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, folks, I am here with the champion and still champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Give us your thoughts on the fight, and did it go the way you expected? Fala o que você achou da luta e se ela foi como você esperava. Foi mais ou menos o que a gente esperava pelo fato de o Kenny ser um estrategista. O Kenny é um ótimo lutador, já passou disputando várias categorias, então ele estava jogando no meu erro, então procurei que eu tenha mais um pouco ânimo. Eu desculpa, mas na próxima eu vou ver melhor. Yeah, it played out great. He's a very strategic fighter, so he's a very smart and experienced guy. And I just had to go in there and pose my game. Next time I'm going to come out and put on a better fight for you guys. It seemed that Kenny's strategy was to use a lot of movement and to try to pin you up against the cage and wear you down. Is that something that you expected? Você esperava que ele ia usar o movimento, a ação e te colocar na grade? Eu sabia, eu sabia que ele ia colocar na grade ali, eu defendo muito bem. Eu olhei a luta dele com o BJ, com todo mundo. Ele sempre chegava ali na grade e segurava, então eu já esperava isso. Procurei defender e acertar os golpes aos poucos. Yes, I expected him to pin me against the cage. I watched his fight against BJ Penn, and he did the exact same thing, and I just had to be able to defend it. 
It seemed that one of the techniques you were having great success with was the inside leg kick. You really hurt him with that. Why didn't you throw more of those? Por que você não continuou chutando ele se estava machucando? Ele estava querendo botar para baixo no meu chute ali, no meu direto. Qualquer movimento que eu fizesse, ele entrar na minha perna. Então, eu procurei conter mais o chute. Eu acho que dava para encaixar vários, mas eu mantive ele a calma e procurei valorizar mais a vitória. You know, he was always trying to look, uh, looking to take me down, and when I would throw that kick, he was always trying to take me down again, and my crosses and my movement, so I just had to do that, and I knew I could land more kicks, but I knew I had to defend the takedowns. Well, the takedown defense was brilliant. Congratulations on retaining your title. É, eu só tenho que agradecer, dar parabéns para ele. É o aniversário do, do, do Derek aqui, então a vitória vai para ele. E mandar um beijo lá para Manaus, Amazonas. A comunidade Santa Amaro está em peso lá, torcendo por mim. Então, muito obrigado a todo mundo, Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. Obrigado, valeu, torcida jovem. He uh, gave me a happy birthday and he said hello to everyone in Manaus and everyone in Santa Amaro and Rio watching this fight tonight. Congratulations and still champion, ladies and gentlemen, Jose Aldo!